up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to our Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition. Booyah Nation, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I was reading the comments on yesterday's Road to Glory, and the amount of people that are saying this series is helping them and that they enjoy this series so much and they can't get enough of it. Y'all literally made me post a third Road to Glory in a row. Y'all made me so happy reading those comments. I have never really posted three series, like a three in a row with a series. I usually go back and forth. And on my Draft to Glory, guys, before you get upset at me, man, I got a draft in this episode, so I'm kind of combining the draft of glory and giving y'all what y'all like to see. On your screen right now is the team that we put together. Now, we're going to do so much in this episode. I, I, we got some insane squad builder challenge money making. At least that's what Twitter told me. See, before we get into this, if you enjoy this series, please hit a, hit a thumbs up, man, because y'all support is it's just making me feel so damn lovely. So if y'all enjoy, hit that big old thumbs up. We got 47,000 coins now. I could be one of those epic traders, and I, I, I'm not. I'm not one of those guys that can like take 47,000 coins, go into the market, and flip that thing into four milli. I know some of y'all watching probably can do that. Y'all are some pro epic traders. Y'all, y'all should be doing like stocks in real. Anyways, look, man, I, I can't really do that. But what I can do is do the bronze pack method, and I could do the squad builder challenges. So the guys that are out there that are like me that aren't good investing your coins in certain players to make money, nobody fear. Your boy skills is just like you. So we're gonna do it a simpler way. Now I put on Twitter, I said, yo, yo, Booyah Nation. If you follow me on Twitter, A9 Skills, I said, yo, should I open 25,000, should I open a 25K pack? And everybody was like, no! And some people were like, yeah! But then there was some wise, wise suggestions. And some people said, yo, Skills, do the squad builder challenges, okay? You can make mad, mad, insane profit off of squad builder challenges. Now, I haven't really messed with squad builder challenges all year. Not on my main account. On my main account, I have Purple Sterling. I have, um... I have the Dembele, I think. I forget. I got like four players from Squad Builder Challenges. I have the Jonas. That's the first one I ever did. And that's it. I got like four Squad Builder Challenges complete. I don't really mess with them that much. So I'm not too hip on it. But people are telling me you can make mad profit. So today, we're going to jump into the Squad Builder Challenges to improve that team that you were looking at. See, because I was having this massive conversation with my brother, right? And we were going back and forth about FIFA and how sometimes we complicate things. Does that make sense? You know, like football, right? A lot of coaches will say football is an easy sport until you complicate it. When you start complicating the way you play football is when it starts to become a hard sport. And I started thinking about that. Do we complicate FIFA for ourselves? See, the first time we got elite, if you guys follow the journey of this account, we've been playing on this account for three weeks going on to week four. Week one, we got elite three. Week two, we got gold one. So I choked on week two. But what happened in gold one? We were running Sterling, Musa, and Walcott, and then Mani. We were running just extremely fast, cheap players, players that anybody can get their hands on. But once we started getting coins, then we start complicating. We started to get Anthony Martial. We started playing him on seven cam. I dropped Musa for a seven cam Anthony Martial was that a new move well I went to a player that has 90 pace and Musa has 93 yes he has a better shot but I am playing him on seven chemistry uh, did I start making the little mistakes of getting away from the simple stuff the basic stuff the best we've ever done is before I had Eric Bailly before I had Anthony Martial we picked up elite three I mean, we did pick up Eric Bailly throughout it. I think midway through we bought Bailly, but we were using the cheap, cheap players when we got our best ever finish. And when we go into week two, we start to complicate things. We start using a loaned hazard. We start doing all kinds of craziness and I get gold one. So do we make things complicated for ourselves? On your screen right now, I am putting together the hybrid one. Now, I think it's the hybrid leagues. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. This is the final one. This gets you a 25K pack, all right? So it gets you a 25K pack, and I actually do it for like 8K, 7 or 8K, somewhere around there. Now, I actually could have done it for 6K, but I messed up, and I made I did one that was a little bit more expensive, but I did 8K to get a 25K pack. Is it going to make profit? We're going to find out. We're also in the hybrid league. We're going to do the... the the final one, which is, I think it's called like 11 something. And then we're going to do the one that's before that one that I think is called 10 something, something like that. I will be able to see it as it pops up. Now, I know it's moving hella fast and it's, it's I kind of have it fast forwarded, but you'll be able, you can just pause the video at any time you want and you can see the entire team, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So we jump back into it. It's called, what is it called, man? It's called the, the hybrid leagues. And this one is the, what's it called? The, the starting 11. So there you go, man. As you can see, I use all Brazilian players from 11. You need a, 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 a you need... 100 chemistry, 
I believe it is. And you also need it to be 11 different leagues. Now, you are going to have to do the loyalty bonus. So if you guys know how to do that, what you have to do is you have to play 10 games with your team. There's glitches out there to do it. I'm not going to get into it in the video. I'm pretty sure you guys already know about it. But you got to have loyalty for this to work. To have 100 chemistry, you got to have loyalty, which means you have to have 10 on every player pretty much. So there's the team that I turned in right now for a 25K pack. It cost me about 8K to do it. And uh, we're going to find out if we make profit and insane coins like everybody was saying on Twitter through the squad builder challenges all right so that's the first pack we get a uh what is it gold premium pack i believe now we go into the second one i'm gonna put together the the next one within that hybrid league and we actually use some of the same brazilian players that we used in the first one so going back to what i was talking about with my brother man Maybe we complicate things. Like, you start to start off with no coins and you're running Musa. And Musa gets you all the way up to the coins to finally buy Ibrahimovic. Now, Ibrahimovic is a big name. I mean, he's probably one of the best number nines to ever put a football kit on, right? Uh, so you got you buy Ibrahimovic because you love him. And now you start playing FIFA uh, with the way you played Musa. But see, when you're an average player at FIFA or a below average player, I think I'm an average player. So for me, um, you know, when I get matched up against a really, really good player... If I'm using a player like Ibrahimovic, if my opponent's constantly holding the ball and playing so good because he's a great FIFA player, when I finally steal the ball from him and got to hit him on the counterattack, Ibrahimovic is not the guy for me. And I've now complicated things. Because Ibrahimovic is a great finisher and a great shooter and a great passer and a great everything, what he's not great is on the counterattack with the speed. So when I have players like Walcott, Sterling, Musa, I can counter people, I can pace abuse. But one of the deadliest stats in FIFA is pace. And this has been a thing for years. So why are we complicating things when we go into the foot champions? If the speedy players are getting us elite one, elite two, elite three, then we need to be running the speedy players and forget the big names. I dropped Anthony Martial for a couple games to try Hazard. Why? Because Hazard's a bigger name than Anthony Martial. But Anthony Martial for me is better. He's quicker. He just feels more fat. Like he's just better. So why did I go for Hazard if Anthony Martial was doing his job? And why did I bench Busha from Anthony Martial? Because everyone was like, yo, Anthony Martial is better. And I knew Anthony Martial was better. But is he actually better than Musa for me? That's what you have to look at. Is he better for you? Are you complicating things? Because, because you have a favorite player. First, we're going to open up the Jumbo Premium Pack. Then we're going to open up the Premium Gold Player Pack. Jumbo 1 came from the second squad builder we did. We can shut them from Benfica. Now, let's say... You know, the boy, uh, let me get a good name here, man. I want to use somebody that's uh, Fabregas. Let's say Fabregas is your favorite player in world football. I mean, you watch Chelsea only because of this guy. You love Fabregas. When he was at Barca, you watched him because he was your favorite player. When he was at Arsenal, you watched them because he's your favorite player. So you buy him in FIFA. But what you don't what, what what you don't realize is that he's actually hurting your team. But because you love him in real life, you keep using him. Right here, we get the boy Tran from Barcelona. We also get Kona Plianca, uh from the Bundesliga. So we get a few players here. But is this going to be profit? Right now, we're at 34,000 coins. Remember, we were at 47 before we did both. Now we're going to sell everything and see where we're at by the end of the episode. And while we wait for things to sell, we're going to jump into a draft. But I'm going back to that conversation I was having. Falcao, Fabregas, Diego Costa, all these players might be your favorite players in real life, but when it comes down to it, is not a pacey player actually helping you or not helping you? See, because if you're a great passer at FIFA, then Ibrahimovic is going to be amazing for you. Fabregas is going to be amazing for you. But if you're not a good passer at FIFA, if you're somebody who runs a lot, you need to be using players who run a lot, man. Don't confuse things. Don't make FIFA harder for yourself. And the reason I'm talking to you guys like this is because I think I made FIFA harder for myself. I know Anthony Martial is amazing, but if you look at my players, top, the top goal scorer on my team, it's Musa. Musa's the top goal scorer. And I started like asking if I should get gray. And a lot of people are like, yeah, skills, gray is sick. He's like a, he's like a little bit better than Musa. And I, I started thinking like, you know, but I don't like gray because he's a high high. But then Musa was a high high for me and he got us all the way up into division one He got us good in the foot champions. Musa was amazing for us So where where do I like why did I turn my back on Musa and why am I? Turning my back on gray for Anthony Martial like this is what I'm starting to come down to right Anthony Martial is a fantastic player when you look at his stats He's overpowered. I mean when it comes down to stats. He's, he's legitimately overpowered But when you look at Anthony Martial and you look at gray when you match them up gray on 10 chemistry might be better than Anthony Martial He might be because I'm playing Anthony Martial on seven. So maybe I should have a striker at cam i mean that strike uh, my striker have 10 cam so what i could do is put anthony martial at left forward 
on that team that we're running and we're gonna lose Coleman. But the person that's gonna be on seven chem now instead of Anthony Martial, it's gonna be Renato Sanchez. So what's more important to me? Having Renato Sanchez on 10 chem or having my striker on 10 chem? And I honestly think a striker is way more important than a left CM. A left CM is extremely important because he defends for you, but having a play on 10 chemistry at striker, a guy that finishes and uh, probably gonna be one of the biggest reasons why you stay in the elites or in the high goals is gonna be because of your strikers. Cause let's be honest, if you could defend decently, it it doesn't matter unless you can score goals and if you can score goals it doesn't matter unless you can defend right so it's kind of a balance but Renato Sanchez in the midfield like it does it really matter for Renato he's not my son of defensive mid he's not one of those super key players but I think my striker is one of my biggest biggest key players and I'm running him on seven camps so what can we do we can move Anthony Martial to left forward we can we keep Walcott at right forward and now we can get a striker it can be Musa on 10 cam. It could be Diego Costa on 10 cam. It can be Ibrahimovic on 10 cam. It could be Gray on 10 cam. Now, all of a sudden, we could put a legit BPL striker in. Then what does that allow us to do? And I'm, I'm probably going to pop a, a picture on the screen for, for me to show you a foothead link or something. See, because I was running Matic beside Conte because Conte needed a Chelsea link. I could run him or Fabregas. But now, if I go to Anthony Martial at left forward and Walcott at right forward, I can have Conte at 10 chem, even with Dembele beside him. And Dembele, to me, is one of the most overpowered CMs in the BPL. And Matic is great, but Matic is a little bit slow. And since I already have a ball winner in Conte, I could put Dembele beside Conte, get full chem, have Renato Sanchez on seven chem or eight chem, as long as I get Moringu from the BPL, because he's Portuguese and, and, and it links up everything. Now, he's going to be on... Eight, because David Alaba is going to be going into him, but that's it. That's the only links he's going to have. Now, everybody's going to be on perfect chem, except for Renato Sanchez. And instead of Anthony Martial being on seven, Renato Sanchez is going to be on seven or eight. So there you have it, man. I'm really thinking about doing this and making sure all front of my, my top front three are on full chem. Now, if we make this move, the question is, do I go back to Musa or do I stay with Gray? Or do I pick up Gray? Now, we don't have a lot of coins at the moment to pick up Gray. We got to make coins. And that's why I'm doing the squad builder challenge to see if we profit. And that's why I'm doing this draft right here to see if we profit. Now, I'm playing with the team loads because I'm not really feeling my man uh, uh, Alexis Sanchez on two chemistry. All right. I'm not really feeling this this, this this as a thing, you know, playing a play on two chem. But, you know, sometimes in life, you got to go with whichever, whatever you got. And this is the best we got. So uh, we're going to attempt to make it the best. Now, for me, it's the whole thing of keeping it simple, right? Keep it simple, play FIFA for what your strong points are. Obviously for me, Musa worked well. Um, it, on my main account, Ronaldo works well for me at striker. Bale works well for me at striker. So what am I seeing? I'm seeing that I need a fast striker. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing I need pace at the striker position. And and that's a big part of it. Now, when you play Ronaldo on seven cam, when you play Bale at seven cam, uh, at, at, the, at the striker position. I feel like these players have such high stats that on seven chem, it's not gonna matter. Now, if you play Anthony Martial on seven chem at the left CM position, um, I feel like it's not gonna matter. But when you have him at the striker position, I don't feel that Anthony Martial is a high enough overall with enough stats on his card to be already handicapping him on top of that. Does that make sense? I feel like when you run players like Musa and Walcott and Anthony Martial, you wanna have them on 10 camp. You wanna have them to their best of their ability because you want every single point of every stat to work out lovely. Now when you're running Ronaldo and Bale, these guys have so many stats already in every pos in every category that it doesn't really matter if they're on seven chemistry. And Renato Sanchez in the midfield or Anthony Martial in the midfield, I don't think it's gonna be a really big deal because they're all the way back in the midfield. Now would I run my CDF I'm on seven cam probably not because he's so important although i don't i did get top 100 with conte on seven cam and he was my cdm but with that being said i, I look try to get as many tens as possible and i know this is not to everyone everyone's like ah it doesn't really to me i think you want to try to get as many tens as possible unless it's ronaldo or gareth bale or something like that so do i think anthony martial is working out lovely at the striker position i do i think he's amazing at the striker position but why are we handicapping ourselves with our striker on seven if we can have him on 10 and just have a midfield player on seven or eight now the reason i built this team is because of renato sanchez i truly believe renato sanchez is one of the most overpowered cheap players in this game and I'm not saying Coleman's bad. I'm saying Coleman's an overpowered player, a great player as well. Don't get it twisted. The only thing I dislike about Coleman, a lot of people say it's his physical. I don't like the fact that he's a medium low. 
I really dislike the fact that he's a medium low. I wish he was a medium medium like Walcott. I wish he was a high medium like Anthony Martial. I hate the fact he's a medium low because he won't run into the box and he won't drop back at all. So he's literally chilling in the middle of La La Land by himself. I actually want to watch that movie La La Land. Tell me if it's good in the comments down below. But don't spoil nothing for me. I know they be singing and stuff. I'm trying to watch that. Um, right here, Diego Costa, he, he gave me a shout to buy him, man. Diego Costa's literally showing me like, hey, maybe you should buy me. But that's the informed version. I ain't got enough money for the informed Diego Costa. That's hella expensive. Um, so I'm back at the decision now. Do I buy Gray? Should I try out Gray? I'm not the biggest fan of high highs at the striker position, but Musa was a high high. And he's the he's the club's top goal scorer. So um, it's tough, man. I'm in a position right now where I don't know what to do. Right now we're at like 28,000 coins uh, because we've entered a draft and we did a squad builder challenges. We were at 47 when the episode started. So. After we sell everything, we're going to hope that we're in the 50s and 60s and we made some profit. Now, anyways, let me know, Booyah Nation. Let me know where you're at with this conversation because I truly do think I complicate things sometimes because I want to use the big name players. I want to use the Ibrahimovic. I want to use the Diego Costa. I want to use the Uzil. I want to use all these players, but are the overpowered players, the big name players, good because they're big name players? Um, and, the, and to me, the answer is no. Ronaldo and Gareth Bale are big name players, but they're good because of how fast they are and the shot that they have on them. Um, I think that's what makes them so amazing, right? Is is like look at look at like, for example, someone like I'm trying to think of someone like like let's say Messi, right? Messi stats are absolutely unbelievable, but a lot of people take Ronaldo still because it's not about the big name. It's it's more about what he gives you in every single category. And I know Messi gives you a lot in every single category. That, those are too hard to compete. No, those are too hard to compete. Let me not even go into the Messi Ronaldo because I just started a whole other conversation. No, no, we're not having that conversation. I, I'm trying to think of like the exact one, like Ibrahimovic, I guess, right? Ibrahimovic's stats are absolutely unbelievable. But I think myself, I could do better with the Musa because even though his stats are absolutely un, uh, even though his name is, his, he's such a big name player and his stats are unbelievable, he lacks in one stat. And in my opinion, it's the most important stat for a striker. It's the pace. Because if you can't beat the back line, you can't score goals. So I, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I complicated stuff using big name players. I'm going to keep it simple, man. I'm going to get back to, the, to what I know and, and, and what's my roots. That Walcott's card's amazing for me because of how much pace he has. Let's be honest, man. He gets behind defenders so much that if he shoots 100 times, he's going to score 50 goals because he just breaks down that defense so many times. In a game, he might miss seven times, but he got into that position seven times because of how fast he is. That's what I'm trying to get at. That's what I'm trying to get at. Ibrahimovic is not as fast as him, so he's not going to get into great positions all the time because he's not that fast and everybody let's be honest everybody named mama is running fast center backs tell me the last time you go into the foot champions you saw a center back under 70 pace don't worry i'll wait man because you don't see it often most of the time people are running crazy and if they do have like 68 pace you know they got a shadow on them they're trying to make these cards as quick as possible and when they're running players as quickly as quick as possible in the back your ibrahimovic is not going to be enough to get by these defenders because they're going to be hella fast so when you break on the counter against a great player you're actually hurting yourself just because you want to use a big name player that conversation went on for way too long but me and my brother went back and forth with each other about this and again it's all down how do you play fifa man how do you play fifa are you a passer because if you're a passer ebra works a little wonders for you if you're if you're somebody that runs quick back and forth quick you're trying to get people on the counter attack you're trying to get it behind your defender quick then you're gonna want someone like moose on your team you can see aguero doing damage for me in this one because he's so damn fast man aguero is absolutely everywhere renato sanchez misses but waniyama there to tuck it in now this was the semi-finals man we're one game away from the final now, we played a draft in the last episode, and we won it, and we didn't really profit that much off that draft. We'll be 100% honest with you, guys, with you guys. This guy, every time he scored, he dead fished me. I don't know why, man. Big boy Conte showing he could shoot as well, and he ties the game up at 3-3, and that's only 45 minutes into the game. So we move all the way into extra time. There was no goals in the second half where he scores first with Diego, big boy Costa, and then he dead fishes me. And sometimes in life, you make a mistake. You dead fished me three times. Wait, four times. Four times you dead fished me. I come down with Lukaku. I got nothing, so I hold up. I wait up. I'm waiting for everybody. I give it to Aguero. Aguero finds who? The boy, Will Leon. Will Leon does a scoop turn, tucks it into the back of the net. And we're 4-4. Four, four, and we could be seeing another final appearance as long as we can score one more. 112th minute, the boy Walker bringing it up. Walker slows down, sends it back towards Lukaku. Who does he find? I try to find Will Leon. It doesn't work. The ref doesn't call a foul there. Possibly could have been a foul. Will Leon finds Alexis Sanchez. He lets one go off the post. Back to Willian. I thought Alexis Sanchez should have scored the first one. He didn't, but Willian does tuck it home. And that's going to send us straight to the final in a very difficult game. Now we're back up to 34,000 coins. Why? Because some of the stuff that we opened up in the... Um Squad Builder Challenges have sold as I'm showing you right now. Now you have to remember, man, that we started with 47,000 coins 
and we, uh, you know, after the squad builder challenges, we're at 30 something. So you got to remember that. We're going to open up our. Oh, that was the final. Oh my gosh, my bad. That, I was saying that was the semis. That was the final. We win the draft right there. And let's get into our packs, man. So we got to hope and pray that this draft actually benefits us and we make some coins here. Now, all the players, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell all the players. I'm going to sell everything we get. In this draft, we actually get lucky because we make 100,000. I mean, 70, 100,000, that'd be nice. We make 1,000 coins. So that's going to get us up a little bit. And that's going to get us back up to the, the 35,000, which is pretty okay. But now we have one more pack to open up. And like I said, before, before we started everything, 47,000 coins, man. Now we're trying, to, we're trying to beast up. We're trying to get our coins up because I think I might invest in this gray card. I know a lot of people have told me to do it and a lot of people have told me not to do it. Even when I did a poll on Twitter, it was 50-50. I think I'm going to make an executive decision, man, to go balls deep and try to get this guy. Because if Musa was that good for me, is this guy going to be just as good? He almost has the exact same stats as Musa in every category, except for he has a better shot than Musa. They're both high highs. It's unbelievable. So that's what we get out the draft. It wasn't the best thing in the world. We're going to go ahead and list up every single player. And hopefully by the next episode, Booyah Nation, we'll be back over 47,000 coins. I still have loads of stuff to sell. These players, I can tell you now that I have sold them. Um... I still have a lot of fitness stuff to sell, though, because we got a fitness card in those packs. We have a lot of that stuff to still sell. So we're going to hope this gets us up into like the 50, 60,000 coins. We're going to hope that we can pick up the boy Gray eventually and hopefully do better in the foot champions. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about that conversation we had today. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think we complicate things sometimes and go for the big name players when realistically they're actually hurting us because we don't play their style? Let me know down below, man. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends about us if they don't know about us yet. Well, about me. It's just me. But tell, tell your friends about us man tell them to hit that big sub if they like fifa spin your boy skills love your faces man y'all stay safe y'all stay amazing keep that beautiful smile on your faces you hear me booyah baby these are footballs right now this one cost me 170 dollars and this one cost me under 20 dollars now when i bought the one for over 170 dollars a lot of people on instagram because the first place i posted it was on instagram and i said this is my first ever official and people even said to me like yo why did you waste that much money on the ball a lot of people asked me if it was actually a good ball uh is it worth the upgrade does it actually make a difference in real talk have you ever been watching football and you thought to yourself like man I wanted that ball that they're playing with if it actually makes a difference on the way they kick or you've been seeing the shirts they wear and you just like you're like man I wonder if the quality of the shirt they're actually wearing is much different. I bought this because I always had that question I said man you know what I want to play with an official ball so back at the World Cup in Brazil a few years back I decided to go into an Adidas shirt store and buy my first ever official ball now this one is from the Euro this year now they're two different balls obviously I have held the $20 one of this one I've played with the $20 one of this one uh, all summer long I played with because everybody at the football field had this ball the regular one and I had my good one the one thing I can't say now this is gonna be a review I'm gonna break it down for you now I wanted to go to the field and kick the ball around for you guys but instead I probably just kick the ball in my basement because yes I have a goal in my house because I'm just stupid like that but I'm legitimately gonna break it down man now every time I went to the football field this is the best way I can say it all the homies that were out there man whether they were younger kids or older kids they knew mine was the official one because they played they're like yeah that feels